welcome to Retro Crisis and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use shaders in RetroArch. So firstly, what is a shader? A shader is a filter that allows you to change the visual appearance of your game. So in order to start using shaders, when you're in your game you need to go to your RetroArch menu. So I'm using Windows, so I'll be pressing F1 on the keyboard. Then what you want to do is scroll down to shaders and then just press enter. Now you'll see this menu here. Now in order to add a shader, what you do is press load. Then you'll see two folders, shaders underscore GLSL and shaders underscore slang. I believe the shaders slang are the, the newer versions of the shaders. However, I don't have any installed at the moment, so I'll just be using the GLSL shaders. So I'll open the GLSL folder. Here is a list of all the categories for all the shaders available to you. So I'll just go through a few examples. So if I go down to CRT, and then I'll just choose this one, for example, CRT Geom, and I'll just press enter on it. That's it, I'll just press F1 to go back to the game. And now you'll notice that the geometry of the screen has uh, changed to look more like an old school CRT. And you'll also notice there's a number of scan lines running across the screen. So that's an example of one shader. And now I'll show you another shader. Click on load again, GLSL, handheld. Let's try to recreate the old school Game Boy screen. So go to GB Palette DMG. Press F1 to go back. Now you'll notice the game looks like an old school Game Boy game. Let's try a few more. Say VHS, and then I'll choose the VHS shader. VHS tapes that have been really worn out. Uh, let's go to Film and Technicolor. The screen has like dust and scratch marks on it, like uh, an old school movie. Let's go to Saber. And then Saber Hybrid Deposterize. Now you'll notice everything's been smoothed out, so you don't see any of the pixel edges anymore. So I hope this video gave you a bit of an idea of how shaders work in RetroArch. If it was useful, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.